Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we have this beer right here. It was sent to me by a French wizard. This is from Covered Bridge Brewing Company. This is the MSB, which is a brown ale. It is 8.5% alcohol by volume. There you go. There you go. Um, let's open her up. Now, I did today drink Amber Rose from uh, from Covered Bridge. It's the first time I've had Amber Rose in a couple of years. And it was very, 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 very carbonated. I, I'm sure there was some strand of foreign uh, bacteria that made its way in there. Which bacteria? I don't know. But something, something had to have... Uh, something must have... Uh, infected that because I have very high expectations of covered bridge beers at least in quality maybe they might not always be the tastiest most uh, sought after beers for me but I've never had a quality issue and that just didn't seem right at all the way that beer came off um, so this is number two of the night from this brewery and already it looks much better slightly off white head beautiful brown why is it so cold down here all of a sudden? Beautiful brown color. Lots of tunnels forming in there. Like seriously, my furnace is on. Why do I feel a cold breeze? Smell test? Like deep roasted bread, roasted bread, deeply toasted bread, slightly like charred bread almost, chocolate, pine, chocolate, pine, molasses, char and roastiness of the can, so the can smells great, uh, let's try the beer, cheers. Okay, so this is a big bad brown ale. Would I be able to tell it's a big bra bad brown ale? Yes and no. It's not really alcohol. There's no real alcohol astringency, but this thing is is beefy, heavy mouthfeel, very very roasty flavor, almost stout like, very roasty. A little bit of coffee, a little bit of uh, dark chocolate, a little bit of molasses. Uh, just a burnt, toasty wood flavor, and then a piney and uh, piney and resiny finish. Those four front flavors are enough to overpower the pininess, so that this doesn't become like a full-on American brown ale where I'm not going to like it. But it it is uh, sitting in that wishy-washy spot for me. There's nothing wrong with the beer. There's no flaws in the beer. Uh, it's brewed well. It's very complex. It has a nice mouthfeel. Carbonation is medium. Uh, everything everything seems right. Visually, it looks great. It's just in that wishy-washy spot because of the hops in it. I do like it, though. Out of 10 on this, I'd give it a 7. I'd buy it again. I'm, so, I'm This is a solid beer. I'm not sold on it completely, but it's a solid beer that I could get behind. So I'll drink the rest of this as I watch some more uh, Justified. Thank you, Guy, for sending this out. 